Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Harry Caligiros. Uh, I'm front -end engineer, senior front-end engineer at uh, Trasis Greece. At the beginning, uh, I will uh, speak about uh, my company. Trasis uh, uh, is a sponsor of the event and uh, since uh, the very beginning, sponsor encourages uh, initiatives like this and uh, its main scope of uh, development in front end is angular so uh, angular meetup uh, is uh, as we say the favorite meetup uh, of atrasis i would like uh, also to introduce you to another wide accepted event that is the ministry of testing uh, Petros Plakogiannis, who is uh, the organizer, is here to pose him questions about the event. Uh, the event uh, invites uh, people uh, uh, from the IT world uh, uh, that uh, are very, very popular, like uh, the developer of the Selenium and uh, other personalities. The event is hosted uh, in the American, uh, American uh, Euro, uh, Union in uh, Athens. You are all free to uh, take a chance to visit uh, once the event. Uh, they do great things. Uh, this evening uh, I will introduce you to Angular uh, unit testing using uh, the Jest framework. I will begin the, uh, the talk uh, with the definitions of unit testing. But uh, allow, me you to ask, allow me to ask you uh, who spends time uh, within uh, his development li life cycle to write uh, unit tests. Okay. Who writes unit tests for Angular applications? Okay. So there's uh, some sort of experience uh, in the field. Let's define what is a unit. A unit is the smallest testable uh, piece of code, such as a function, a class, a uh, procedure, or interface. Uh, the piece of code that uh, you want to test and verify that all is uh, going well. So, unit testing uh, is the testing method by which the individual units are tested to determine whether they are, they are fit for use. For example, if uh, uh, in our tests we give some inputs, we expect that uh, our unit will uh, yield uh, the expected values. Why uh, tests are useful? Uh, who want to respond? Tests are useful because uh, they, are, they are a written contract the, that the code must satisfy. They protect against changes of the code that uh, might break the application, that is reg regressions. Moreover, uh, they help build a more uh, solid software design and uh, they provide the live documentation of the system. For example, if we have a large project and uh, we have uh, covered it uh, with unit tests, then a new member reading the unit tests can understand what the application does. So, in order to write good unit tests, we have to follow some best practices and guidelines. Uh, these are known as first principles. Uh, first is the acronym of the following statements. Uh, fast, isolated, repeatable, self-verifying, and timely. Fast. Fast means that uh, uh, every unit test must be very, very quick. The developer must not hesitate to run it. When we end up with a large project and we want a good coverage, uh, there might be thousands of tests. So we want each unit test to run in a few milliseconds. Unit tests must be isolated. That means that uh, the test method must uh, do the three A's. This is a range. That means that the data used uh, in the test should, be, uh, should not depend on the environment in which the test is running. And that also means that uh, the test should set up its own data. The act means that the test should invoke uh, the actual method under test. Uh, the developer must not uh, do any trick to inspect if the test has failed or passed. Assert means that uh, the test method should test for a single logical outcome. Uh, there might also be more than one f uh, physical outcomes, uh, but all these assertions uh, should pertain to the same object. For example, 
if the method we are testing uh, in his output, output returns an object, we must verify that uh, the, uh, obj the actual object is also the expected one. And uh, last, uh, the, test, the unit test uh, must run independently of its order. Uh, that means that if we change the order uh, uh, the unit test runs in a test case, uh, then it should, get the, it should yield the same results. Repeatable. Repeatable means that uh, the test method should uh, prepare again the, uh, its own data. A unit test must not depend from the data that uh, a previous unit test ha has uh, run. It must have deterministic results. That means that whenever we run the test, given the same inputs, we must have the same outputs, the same expected values. Also, each, uh, each test should set up uh, and arrange its own data. But if we need to, to share some data among uh, many unit tests, we can uh, arrange some data helper methods, but we must reassure that uh, the data are not altered uh, by the unit test. The, for the next unit test must uh, use the same uh, bunch of data. Self-validating, that means that that unit test must be explicit on its uh, failure or on its success. We should not inspect in the code if the unit test has passed or failed. Timely and thorough, that means that uh, we should concern that we cover the happy scenario, the happy use case, the happy path. We must not aim for a 100% coverage, although times it might be useful to provide to the unit test some uh, corner or boundary values uh, to see uh, how the unit uh, is behaving. Apart from the best practices and guidelines, Angular provides us her own utilities. The most important utility, testing utility, is the testbed. Testbed creates a dynamically uh, constructed Angular test module, which is similar to the ng module. It provides the configured testing module method that uh, takes a metadata object similar to the one that ng module takes. There are many, many uh, testing utilities, but uh, you can uh, go to the Angular I.O. site to see all of them. I want to be brief uh, on how to integrate Jest uh, in an Angular project. So this is a, a website with a good article to find the instructions how to embed the Jest framework uh, in an Angular CLI project because uh, by default, the Angular project comes uh, with the Jasmine and Karma uh, unit testing uh, utilities. Jest uh, is a delightful JavaScript testing framework with uh, its focus on uh, simplicity. Uh, it comes from the React world. It is developed by, by Facebook, uh, but uh, it comes handy even in the Angular world. It is fast and safe and provides easy mocking and uh, code coverage uh, out of the box. And uh, the main site where you can find the documentation is the justjs.io site. I want only, me uh, I want only to mention uh, two uh, main uh, capabilities of the framework. The one is uh, uh, the mocking. And mocking is uh, the technique to isolate test subjects uh, by replacing dependencies with objects that you can control and inspect. Uh, the unit has some external dependencies in order to test it uh, in a quick uh, manner. Uh, you provide some fake objects and methods and uh, as the dependencies of the unit and the tests run uh, in isolated mode and uh, more fa uh, and more fast. Just provides the just.fun uh, function. Uh, with it, we can uh, capture uh, uh, the calls. We can uh, return uh, our values and uh, change the implementation of, the, of a real dependency. And uh, 
The last one is uh, our, uh, the last one, the last our spies. Just spies uh, watch a method invocation of an object in our unit, but uh, they uh, leave the original implementation in place. In contrary to other frameworks, uh, such as Mocha and Jasmine, Jest will invoke the spied method, that is, will invoke the real implementation, but gives us also the possibility to provide the Mocha implementation with further, further coding. So the usage is uh, Jest.spy on. Uh, we provide as argument the object and the method name we want to spy. Uh, we assert that the spy has been called with the to have been called method and uh, to have been called with, and uh, we provide the arguments with which the method, the spy, has been called. Here ends the part of the presentation. Now I will show you a live hands-on demo uh, on a project I have prepared uh, for the event. This is a, a mini demo I have prepared. Uh, for example, this is a, an eShop. Uh, here we have a list of uh, products. can add some products to cart. For example, uh, set the, the quantity for each one. We add to the cart, etc. We can filter out uh, products. This is our cart. Uh, when, where we see the total amount and uh, the unit price uh, and uh, the the partial sum of each uh, product. I have prepared unit tests for the application. Uh, this is an Angular CLI project. We will see the simplest one. Uh, this is a pipe. Uh, pipe uh, means that uh, in the template uh, we have a, numer a numerical value and the pipe converts uh, the value to something, uh, something else. It's like a formatter. So we have the transform function, which takes a value, which is a number, and converts it to a decimal with uh, two decimal points. So we want to test this method. This is uh, the structure of the test test. Uh, the describe defines a test suite where we may have more uh, than one test. It's significant to put it uh, in the, uh, the beginning of the test. Jest provides us also the before each and after each method. Uh, these, meth uh, these functions uh, are invoked at uh, the beginning of each test. So if we want to, uh, to initialize some data uh, or some other structures, we do it in the before each um, function. So here I instantiate the my decimal pipe uh, in the before each, and uh, then I use it in each one test below. As you see, uh, this is my pipe, and uh, I call the transform function. I give the input uh, this one, uh, 342 point blah blah, and uh, the expected value is a string with two decimal points. Uh, in VS Code, uh, there are two extensions that help uh, very much uh, performing uh, just uh, unit tests. The, the first one is just, and the second one is uh, just runner, which I have installed. I can test a single test pre by pressing run just. So we see that the test has passed, and. Uh, the real benefit of Jest is that it runs in the Node.js environment and it uses a browser that it is called JS DOM. That uh, gives the power to the tools uh, to, uh, show the, to show directly the results of the test uh, with this uh, green dot. For example, if here I break the test, then automatically you see that the, the bullet is red now, and that means that the, the test is broken. And now we'll show you how to, to use a test, but to test a, a component. This is a dumb component. That, that means that this, uh, this is a presentational component, which takes some inputs. It takes as input the products and the quantities, and as output has the add to cart. So here is my test bed. I have the describe where I have some uh, variables uh, in, in the closure 
And uh, you see here that I use in the before it's the async keyword. The async keyword is used because uh, something asynchronous happens. The asynchronous thing is that the template, uh, the product list component uh, has the template as an external file. So it takes some time to load the external file uh, in memory, and that's why async comes into play. Async uh, completes the before each function uh, as soon as the template uh, is written in memory. Is read in memory. We configure the, the test bed uh, with the imports and the, uh, the declarations as a, the product list component. Then we create the component, and that uh, and the creation of the component from the test bed makes a fixture. Fixture is a representation of uh, our component in the Angular context. From the fixture, we can take the component instance, and uh, we can also uh, have a, a DOM query selector style selection. Uh, for example, uh, we take the table element from uh, the fixture. We set the products as an input and the quantities. And uh, the products and the quantities uh, are used to, to instantiate the presentational component as inputs. Uh, we instantiate the presentational component and we feed the quantities and the products as the inputs of the component. We also trigger a change detection because here we are in a unit testing environment. The change detection uh, is triggered only manually. We trigger the changes and then we expect to see the results. We expect to see that uh, in the screen we, in the, uh, in the, we'll see two products. We'll see that the bacon has a quantity of two, uh, the sausages uh, will have a quantity of three, etc. Et and here, uh, this is a test we can, uh, where we can trigger uh, some events as, uh, such as mouse clicks and uh, etc. But when we trigger some events, we must invoke again a, a change detection. This is critical for the unit test. The same here, I change something in the input uh, of the quantity. We trigger the change detection and uh, we expect some, some results. Now I can run all the, uh, all the tests. VS Code also allows us to uh, do debugging uh, within the, uh, the IDE. So we can put some breakpoints here and see uh, what uh, the execution frame uh, is. For, uh, we may see the closures, the stack traces, etc. So all tests have a, a run. This is an HTML reporter. We can, we can see the results of the tests. And this report uh, gives us the coverage of the code. For example, you see here that uh, this code is not covered. Uh, this is highlighted in uh, pink color. You'll find all this code in my GitHub account. So you can find many examples of uh, unit testing with the Jest framework. You know, every time you want, uh, you can ask me. And I am in the Slack of the Angular Meetup. And uh, now I expect you to ask me whatever you want about Jest and unit testing. Great. So thank you, Harris.